Hey YouTube, this is Nardles, and today we have another vintage G.I. Joe review. So today I'll be looking at the Bivouac Battle Station from 1984, I think it was. Um, so, as you can see, it comes with, um, comes with a, uh, set of blueprints. And, um, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at them and put it together. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this uh, flat piece out, and that'll be the base. And this will be the top of the tent. So what you want to do with this is there's two of these. And what you want to do with these posts is kind of loop them in like that and then swing them around. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's what you want to do with them. And just kind of... Oh. And then swing them around like that. And that will be your front supports. Now you want the little uh, hook piece on them angled down like that so we'll just set that there and the main part of it is done now that the main part of it's done the next thing we would do um, when you get this this it comes in uh, a few different segments and you have to pop it together I, mine came together so I'm not going to take it apart um, so, but anyway you'd have to put the uh, put the can in together so and it looks fairly simple, but I just don't want to break it. The next thing you want to do is line that up like that. And you'd have to put this whole piece together too. Um, I do want to know on the base a lot of times that this uh, gets stress marks around it. Mine looks fairly decent, but um, that's just something to look out, look out for a lot of times. So, yeah. Anyway, the next thing you do is you'd have to put the rocket together, which again, mine was together, but it just pops together like that. And that would go in the tube. Then, there is this um, field equipment stand, which isn't going to stand right here very well, but um, we'll just put that there for now. You get a cot, you get two of these legs, two sets of legs, and all you got to do is pop it together like that. And there you go. So you get a little cot up in there. Now, next, I would. Uh, if I had it, I would put the antenna in this radio and just set it in the back there. But, like I said, I don't have the antenna, but that's very uh, easy to lose. So the next thing we're going to do is take all our little equipment. you got a axe. Whoa. A, sh a uh, machete. And a shovel. A really neat shovel. Um and you'll want to put them on the rack so there's a spot for each one of them like the shovel goes on the end in the center EX goes there and they don't stay in very well but you can put all three weapons on there or three tools we'll just set them there and like I said, they do fall out very easily, but they're kind of cool looking. And the last thing we're going to do is take the little canteen, which is just a canteen. We're going to hang it on the peg here. And there is the completed bivouac. As you can see, the bivouac does accommodate both vintage and uh, modern figures. So... Um, 
if you wanted a little cut or something, you could use it for a modern figure. Have a little uh, rocket launcher or whatever. Um, but anyway, it's a pretty neat little base uh, camp set, which I can definitely recommend. So, um, this has been a look at the 1984 Bivouac Battle Station from the Real American Hero Line. So, this is Nardles signing out.